What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in Boston at Bodega with four-time Super Bowl champ and the owner of the Patriots, Mr. Robert Kraft. My posse wouldn't like me okay. in that one. Going to do some sneaker shopping today. Gonna Joe see what Seppi. It, oh, I left, you, <laughs> I left you hanging. Going to do yeah. some sneaker shopping My today. My man Mark did that one, so he corrected. No one leaves this guy hanging. Going to see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then uh, hopefully he's going to buy some sneakers. Are we prepared to reveal? I think so. Gonna figure out how to get in this place and uh, then we're gonna stop for some sneakers. All right, man. So, Mr. Kraft, a couple Sweetheart. years. Sweetheart. You gotta call me RKK. Okay, sounds good. RKK. For sneakerheads, a lot of us, we wouldn't be allowed in clubs sometimes. You wouldn't be allowed in restaurants with sneakers. Now it seems like you go everywhere in sneakers, like formal events. They want to turn me away in my contribution? Okay. Yeah. I'll give them the contribution, just not show. I'm at a point in my life where I only hang with people I like, and I only I try to do good things, but I love wearing my AF1s. And if it's disrespectful, then I, I would leave. But no one's ever kicked me out. You also have been to the White House, which is a big thing about the sneaker blogs. When you wore Air Force Ones to the White House with Belichick to meet President Obama, what was that like? And did he well, you notice know what? it? I, I got a little special treat for you. Okay. We always like surprises. Always. I have one of my favorite players ever to come through the Patriot locker room. Great Pro Bowl captain, Gerard Mayo. He was standing with me when we went into that little room at the White House. We uh, had two near misses with Obama, but the mm -hmm. third time was a charm. Did Belichick say anything like, oh, RKK, you're wearing sneakers? Hey, this is lower right-hand corner. He can do what he wants to do. Yep. He signs the uh, check. So Gerard, seems like you're gonna be the one to say what Obama said to RKK when he wore, with the suit, Air Force Ones to the White House. You know, when President Obama came in the room, everyone was, you know, standing like this, mm -hmm. and our cool owner, you know, Mr. Kraft came through in his AF1s, and, and I still remember uh, Obama saying, hey, you must be the coolest owner in sports. And from that point forward, everyone was like, you know what? I need to wear some of those AF1s everywhere. From a socioeconomic point of view, whether someone like Rick Ross yeah. or Jay-Z mm -hmm. or Puff Daddy or Brian Grazer, mm -hmm. I mean, not that I had trouble yeah. connecting with him, <laughs> but they all wear them. That's cool with me, because yeah. in the end, we need people to connect as much as we can. And I actually think sneakers generally a way of doing that. Absolutely. So, Gerard, thank you thank for the you. insight it. about Bye, the man. White House visit. Appreciate it. Let's walk down here and talk about your favorite Nikes. So, RKK, got to ask, you have a semi-footwear deal with Nike. You had sneakers in the past. We see some Well, past what, what happened when I saw that original Mark Parker model, the Roche, and he was wearing it, he wore them, and I love things that are light and flexible and he's such an understated great in today's world a great ceo mm -hmm. so we came up with the idea that we do this jointly the good news for me i get him wear them every day no yeah. matter whether it's the tux the suits and then all the money goes to boys and girls clubs of boston my son josh runs Definitely. so the first year we had this was it and we generated $100,000. And then the next year, we had our four trophies. Yep, the four trophies right there. And this was our Nike swoosh, and this was a quarter of a million dollars. But they've been asking me when the new ones are coming out this year. And so they're getting revealed here. Yep. This will be it. The crazy thing is, which the viewers can't, don't realize, this is one of the lightest Air Force Ones I've ever had. Yeah. The bottom seems like See, they were hollowed out, essentially, and it makes for such a light sneaker. And then you brought back the old Patriots logo. Yeah, we call that Pat Patriot. Any of us who love the team love that logo. And uh, some people have argued for us to bring it back, but to be frank, 
we've won four Super Bowls with the Flying Elvis, so. Makes sense. You, you don't want to change something that works. One, you might get a kick. Do you guys remember Ty Law, number 24, the great? He had a pair of Air Force Ones. He made custom ones for me, taking off on our line. Crazy. Calls himself when he was looking for a new contract from Belichick. Mr. Kraft, you tell Belichick, I'm Ty effing Law, <laughs> and this is what I want. <laughs> so I only wear them on special occasions. And the first time, except for dancing with him, mm -hmm. when he went in the Hall of Fame, I wore them at our after party at the Super Bowl right. this year. So please, God, if we're privileged to go to any more Super Bowls and win, I'm gonna, I wear these at the after party. Otherwise, they were sleeping. One thing that's been week to week this year more than ever, these um, kind of custom cleats. Kanye West's cleats have been banned. How do you feel about the cleats being um, more custom nowadays and kind of the league being in this weird place where they're not sure what they're going to I allow? love the league. I love everything they do, whatever they do. It's fine by me. You know, in fairness, we pay, have sponsors who pay, and we share revenue. Mm -hmm. You know, we have the highest amount of shared revenue. It's the re reason I think the NFL is so special is Green Bay, Buffalo, Tennessee, they all get to spend the same amount of players, not like other sports. Right. So it's really how well they manage their assets and resources. And if we let people start going off on their own, generating revenue and selling things, then it, the weaker teams are gonna get hurt and then the strength of the league. So actually, I do support the league and what they do. Okay. Maybe there should be judgment, better judgment in certain, pla certain mm -hmm. times, like certain situations, but we'll, we'll just go with that. I hear you. So let's shop the shelves, see what sneakers you like. We'll check out and then uh, that's okay. it. Okay. It's a little wild. Yeah, CP, uh, Chris Paul, Kevin Durant, Kobe. I do like Kobe and I like Kevin Durant and I like Curry up there. Does he yeah. have a line? Under Armour. He's Under Armour. Yeah. Okay. And then these right here, the new Jordan 31s. I think my... Uh, my posse wouldn't like me okay. in that one. And then another guy, fierce competitor, Russell Westbrook's off-court shoots. I like that, yeah. Okay, let's do one of these. Okay. Leather Roches. Leather Roches. I think I like that. This yeah. like I like this side better than that side. Okay. What about our original Classic. pair of ones? The best, yeah, that one or this one? What, is so this, any? so this. You know Drake. He's a, he's, he's a good man. I was yeah. supposed to go. Hear him last Sunday night, but he, uh, he hurt himself. He got injured. We'll do Drake and we'll do the classic. Okay, cool. All right, that's enough. Your total will be seven eighty-three thirteen. Thank wow. you for that discount. No problem. So as you guys can see, RKK came through Bodega, left with a bunch of new sneakers. Make sure November 10th, you check out his new Air Force Ones. Thanks for coming through. You're gonna get him to watch the game. Oh, and the game. I'm a Giants fan, but. That's okay. Yeah. Wait, that's all right. Yeah. You're your AFC team. That's your NFC team. Fair enough, I like it. Thank you. Giuseppe, good man. I'm gonna help you. Thank you. I need a lot of help. <laughs>